CFD wouldn't be complete without the mixing analysis. This is a blender, um, you know, at the end of the day. So we need to make sure that we're going to blend inside the pitcher really well. So we use SolidWorks Flow Simulation for this. I'm going to show you the setup on the end pitcher design, at least the design of the pitcher where we are at now. But we will be looking at the comparison between the other uh, rough ideas at the beginning. Now, this was set up inside of SolidWorks Flow Simulation, and this is a transient analysis. So we are going to be spinning. We're going to be using a sliding mesh to rotate the, um, the, the mixing blade. We're using gravity, uh, pulling down in the negative Y, and we're using something called free surface. And what that is, is we have air sitting on top of the smoothie mixture. In this case, I actually use applesauce to represent the, um, the fluid in the bottom of the container. Now, a couple things in there, I actually have two layers of applesauce in the model. And the reason for that is I have two different temperatures of that fluid in the model. <clears throat> so my initial fluid everywhere in the model is air. You're going to see here that I set up some initial conditions for the fluid. Now, first we're going to look at the rotating regions of the model. So again, we're rotating this blade at 1200 RPM to do the mixing and we have an environmental pressure at the top of this. So we're allowing uh, air to move in and out of the top of the uh, blender. We don't have a lid on this. The initial condition for the applesauce is specifying applesauce on the top layer at 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the bottom layer, we're going to specify the same thing, applesauce for that uh, volume, but we're going to have a higher temperature. Now I did this in two different temperatures, 62, 62 degrees and 35 degrees, because I want to see how much or how well these mix. So I'm going to be looking at the average temperature at the end of the study for both of those. I did add a local mesh refinement into the model in and around the blade, and we can take a look at these results. Now, with respect to the results, we can look at cup plots in the model. So let me go ahead and load these results, and we will look at the um, mesh first. So it's a very uniform mesh through the model. That's something that's pretty important for a uh, sliding mixing type scenario. So that mesh looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hide that. And we will look at the immiscible fluid in the model. So meaning immiscible applesauce. So this is going to show us at the end of the 0 0.05 um, uh, second run, right? Um, actually, sorry, at this two second, uh, end of two seconds, what the fluid looks like in the model. To kind of understand what that is doing from the surface between the applesauce in the air itself. Now, I did actually run this for five seconds total. You'll see those results here coming up, but these results were up to two seconds. We can also see the velocity plot on the surface uh, of the applesauce. We can kind of see that really nice mixture uh, rolling in onto itself. This is actually something that I saw in marketing material for other blender manufacturers, and we're actually seeing that same behavior virtually inside of flow simulation. We can also look at the temperature in the temperature profile again. This is two seconds of runtime, but we actually ran this for five seconds. You'll see those results here coming up. We can also look at a surface plot of the uh, blade to understand the pressure. And then we can also look at an ISO surface to understand what does that surface look like in 3D with velocity presented. And then we can also look at those goals to understand the average temperature at the end of the run. Now let's take a animation cut plot here and just kind of understand what's happening. So this is a square picture to the round at the bottom. What I wanted to show here is just the animation. We are rotating the blade we're kind of driving that fluid we're seeing a vortex create uh, or start now one thing to note the next animations that i'm going to show you are for the three different pitcher designs one thing to keep in mind is uh, the blade does not look like it's spinning however it is it is rotating at the 1200 rpm
So this is the first picture that we came up with. It is a round top to round bottom. That blade is rotating at 1200 RPM and we can see it's a very violent um, vortice in this. And this is running all the way through five seconds of run. Now, if we look at this from the isometric view on the right and then the temperature view on the left, so we can see that there is a difference of 3.2 degrees Fahrenheit from the upper fluid to the lower fluid. We're not quite mixing as well as I wanted to. We still have a uh, pretty decent um, difference in the, in the temperature there. So I'm not too happy with that. So from there, I kind of said, okay, a lot of pictures that are on the market are a square to round design. We can see that here. Again, a very violent uh, kind of mixing taking place. However, we are kind of seeing a little bit more of those four corners coming together. It just still is quite quite a bit with that 1200 RPM. We can see here we had a three degree uh, temperature difference between the upper and lower average temperatures. Again, quite not mixing as well as what I wanted to see. So the thought process was let's slow this down. Let's add some ribs to the pitcher. And that was what you saw the setup on. So we're seeing a little bit more of that happening. It's not quite as violent of a mixing. However, you're seeing a little bit more movement at the upper surface, but not as much down below. We're kind of slowing that fluid down. And you can see from the temperature plot at the end of the five seconds, a lot better temperature um, average difference. And that is 0.16 degrees. So we're 45.79 and 45.94. We're looking really good as far as the mixing is associated with this. One of the things to look forward to in this is maybe we stick with the ribs and maybe we incorporate those in the square to round um, pitcher. Maybe we take and we refine the ribs. We optimize the ribs. Maybe they don't poke as far into the pitcher. Maybe they're thinner. Maybe they extend every other halfway from the top to the middle. And, uh, you know, maybe from the bottom to the middle, every other as well. Different different designs of the pitcher, but this allows us to iterate, understand what that pitcher looks like without even having to create the mold, without having to create the blender, without having to physically test this. So we have unlimited iterations when it comes to the blending, unlimited different design possibilities. We can really get inventive with what that pitcher uh, looks like.